Greetings ladies and gentlemen, let's go for game 2 of this series, best out of 3 taken from the SK Gaming Champions Trophy, the Asian Edition, and once more a clash between these two Korean pro gamers. You're gonna have spawning here on Shattered Temple, you guys know the map that replaced Lost Temple on the pool, and well, I think it's a more interesting map, though Zergs enjoy this map a lot because of this very wide area here in the middle, allows them to make some massive concaves, which is pretty awesome obviously. But but still quite an interesting and I think balanced map and uh, like I was saying we're gonna have the clash for the second time between this blue zerg I am Lozira member of Team Incredible Miracle such a solid zerg player he's been doing very well on the GSL as we all know and I mean uh, he's a member of one of the finest teams playing in Korea currently on the Starcraft 2 scene Team Incredible Miracle with gamers like I am ST and I am MVP. He's just such a solid player and also apparently a very good learner because as you guys know to this level of gaming to reach this peak you need to count on your team and your partners, your practice partners. He's gonna be facing once more this Terran player, Polt Prime Wii, is such a good Terran player as well. He's been playing on the GSLs very frequently. He didn't come up on the scene just now. He's been playing since the early stages of the StarCraft 2 and the GSL event. And well, he just defeated OGSMC, like I mentioned on game one. So that's a sign that uh, he knows what it takes and he's trying to focus his game, trying to improve and get as b uh, his um, playstyle fine tuned as much as possible. So, we're gonna have a clash here following the builds. As you can see, you're gonna have already proxy racks by Polt Prime. Oh, with this drone from Lozira showing up here, spotting that racks, but not gonna find anything else. So I'm pretty sure that Lozira is gonna start wondering what the hell is going on here. At the same time, he's grabbing his hatchery. So hatch first for Lozira, followed by the spawning pool. So this might spell trouble here. We're gonna have a two racks opening for Polt Prime with Lozira only being aware of one of those racks for now. The other one is still getting finished on this corner against hatch first meaning that Lozira probably won't be having that much of a defense at least for the following couple of minutes not good I wonder how Lozira is going to defend this most of the times you know that Zerg players end up having to defend with the workers and losing a lot of its working force but it's a price to pay if you want to go hatch first nice gas still there by Lozira and I think this might be an interesting option because by him doing the gas steal he's going to keep some of these units busy and instead of having already the marine streaming up to his base he's gonna buy at least a couple of minutes here I would say might be enough for him to act actually gather some zerglings to defend against the aggression here Lozira now getting oh another gas steal nice one almost letting it finished and then picking it up again so he's gonna delay it even a bit longer and he already has three marines here that instead of being going up north to a Rassi's base, they're just taking care of this extractor, which they just finished off, so now it's time to go up north, this SCV already went into the bases, took a look around, so now Polt Prime knows that his opponent went for the hatch first and probably won't have much of a defense. Lozira, because he realized he just lost that gas steel and doesn't have anything else to entertain, so to speak, to keep Polt Prime we busy, getting the spine crawler in front of his base, and all of this marine just passing there on the side did Lozira spotted it no so all of these marines passing here unnoticed on the left side of the of the map passing into the middle and going up north so I think that uh, Lozira might be in for the surprise this SCV is gonna get finished off inside the base there it is and now we're gonna have the marines streaming here there they come let's take a look at the units at the moment only two zerglings and two queens for Lozira against seven marines Ooh, this is not gonna be good that spine crawler will have a lot of work ahead of him but as you can see already have Polt Prime flanking on the left side avoiding that spine crawler so completely useless on that position and starting to shoot down at that hatchery this is going to be complicated for Lozira to defend in my modest opinion notice that meanwhile you have Polt Prime expanding getting his command center ready and preparing more barracks so four racks play on this situation here a lot of pressure incoming while the marines trying to finish off the aggression forcing Lozira to move his spine crawler and defend now with the workers first batch of Zerlings just came out and I think they're gonna have to help here on this defense if he wants to let this hatchery survive or else this is gonna be a massive damage and a huge hit on the plants from Lozira. Well defended this first harass, notice how low on the HP the hatchery is, so now Lozira needs to take care of that hatchery, make sure he doesn't get another push like that one into his natural expo, oh it's gonna be finished. 
Now inside Pold Prime's base, 4x play as you guys can see, and on the back of the base we're gonna have a factory coming out. At the same time he's grabbing his expansion, so gonna be playing out of two uh, bases soon enough, meaning that he's not gonna go for that one base Terran play that he attempted on game one. We all know the result, and throwing a couple of spoilers here for whoever didn't watch that game one, you should obviously, but uh, throwing a couple of spoilers like I was uh, uh, saying, Lozier is leading 1-0, it's Pot Prime's turn to do something about it and take the win on this matchup. Notice as well that the Lozier, Lozier is just positioning this Overlord so well on this edge here, they're gonna be able to spot any kind of medivac drop, something that Terran players go for a lot. Evo Chamber on that corner, probably preparing some upgrades and finally starting the metabolic boost for his Zerglings. So, a nice boost into his Zergling count soon enough, I'm assuming at least he's investing on that Zergling speed and it's a fine way of defending because it will allow him to get faster uh, surrounds and a lot of mobility for his Zerglings. Getting 12 out while Pult Prime once again advances 20 Marines against two Queens and that's it, he doesn't have a defense. Oh, I am Lozier is going for a really risky game here. He doesn't have much of a defense. Pult Prime once more keeps streaming more and more Marines out of those four racks that he built inside his main base and now the spine crawlers trying to defend the best way possible. We already have some of those Zerglings coming out finally and incoming all of those Marines gonna start shooting down this spine crawler to the point where there won't be no more spine crawler anytime soon. Lozira being forced to pull with his Zerglings trying to buy at least a couple more seconds. He doesn't have enough defenses here as you guys can see and now popping out 22 Zerglings. Finally I think we're gonna have some kind of defense and Lozira will be able to sustain the, this hatchery here on the natural expo and keep it alive and kicking to provide more income. Incoming all of the Zerglings Zergling speed kicking in and Paul Prime deciding to pull back with all of the Zerglings trying to get a nice round here on the middle of the map. Nice one here, chewing down on the Marines from Paul Prime. A lot of Zerglings streaming down. There's a batch with 20 more coming out. So well defended by Lozira, but boy, that was risky. It was really, really close. And meanwhile, inside his base, as you guys can see, there's already the Spire and the Spore Crawler. So he might be anticipating, I'm sorry, anticipating and some kind of error as maybe some Banshee play because he already has that um, preventive uh, uh, spore crawler there and I guess he's absolutely right he's just having his game sense running for him there's double starport here putting out once more uh, banshees so we're gonna have late game banshees just like Pult Prime did on game one he's just trying to attempt the same kind of strategy once more while uh, Lozira just unleashes wrath and hell into this mineral line on the natural expo with a lot of Zerling streaming here back and forth trying to stop any kind of production on that mineral line and killing as many workers as possible. That bunker positioning is well placed there, all of the SCVs being pulled to keep it um, keep it uh, safe and not get it destroyed. The Zerling still poking at all of this unit count here. Let's take a look at the worker count for now, 40 versus 40, income wise fairly balanced as you can see the mules give a nice boost to Pold Prime obviously but eco economically speaking it's quite balanced and now we're gonna have these banshees have been harassed here while that push was being done by Lozira trying to shoot some of those creep tumors down probably to recede this creep and make sure he's not gonna be fighting on the creep later on when he decides to push north once more with a bigger force hopefully because at the moment Lozira has been willing and has been able to um, defend against any kind of aggression that Pold Prime has been throwing at him. Had some close calls there, but he's been doing just fine. And there it is, the Spore Crawlers, while we have these two Banshees, tr three Banshees actually, I'm sorry, trying to advance, but now with the Mutalisks, these Mutalisks will be able to finish off this aggression. Already one of the Banshees down, two Banshees left. This is not gonna be good for Pult Prime, I guess he's not gonna take much profit from these benches once more, just like it happened on game one, to be honest. And uh, this bench is three benches lost here, it's a big hit. I mean, it's a fairly big investment by Pult Prime that didn't pay off, and these mutalists are gonna start providing map control for Lozira. They're gonna fly all over the place, taking a look where will be any kind of benches or medivac drops and shoot them down as fast as possible. Banesling's Nest here for Lozira. On his natural expo, there's no nothing else getting built. He has plenty of queens, so he can provide a lot of air defense backed up by spot crawlers. So I don't think that those benches will be able to provide a lot of damage anytime soon. And now advancing towards his opponent's main base, flanking on this corner here, starting to poke at this supply depot, but um, 
the mutilus count fairly short as you can see only six and at the same time we're gonna have bolt prime pushing north i think he's gonna try to apply the pressure once more he's committed to this strong bio play as you guys can see and even more racks here on the natural expo and incoming the forces from bolt prime backed up by late game banshees and medivax marine straight straight army here there's not a single marauder incoming the banelings oh speed kicking in for the banelings and smashing the faces of those marines melting them all away so so quickly and now we're gonna have this uh, mutalisks finishing off the aggression killing off those um those medivacs and the pursuit to the banshees ensues starting to kill them one by one he's splitting his mutalist group to go after all of these banshees as you can see this one probably will be the first one to die since he has three mutalisks on it there it is he's gonna get shot down one of them down now the second one almost finished didn't rack up that many kills as you can see only three kills and the final one is still getting poked at by a single mutalisk so i guess that this is gonna take a while now Meanwhile, we have Lozira trying to reinforce his army. He lost quite a lot there, basically because he had to smash a lot of those, um, a lot of those marines with banelings. And well, banelings just. Uh, they don't remain after exploding, as you guys know, they don't resist the explosion. Basically, they're suicidal units, and uh, you keep getting your uh, army count up and down, up and down, with uh, all of those banelings inside your army. Now, we're going to have a push from Lozira here. He's going to attempt to apply the pressure once more, sending a big mutilist wing straight up north into the into the north side, the north area of the main base of Bolt Prime. Here it is, destroying some of those missile turrets, trying to flank all of this uh, missile turrets here and not getting blasted too much, but still lost a couple of uh, mutalists there. And now the main force advances towards the natural expo. Oh, those siege tanks weren't siege. They're going to get finished off so, so quickly. Bailings wrapping up what's left of the natural expo of the workers oh big explosions losing a lot of workers there and meanwhile he finished off the rest of the aggression but keep in mind that still on the back we have these mutalisks shooting down everything that moves focusing fire on this uh, engineering bay and now sending SCVs to repair it i think he wants to keep it alive because he needs this this infantry armor level one so lozira in trouble here to get that thing killed but apparently Polk prime changed his mind he gonna pull up Incoming the Banelings trying to smash as many of those Marines as possible. But there's a lot of Marines streaming from the south. And I don't think that Lozira has enough here to defend. He's trying to get some more Banelings done and more Zerglings. Also keep in mind that he's getting his upgrade rolling. Attack level 2. But um, will it be in time? Because apparently we have uh, Polt Prime here making a nice time push. Advancing and crushing all the position. Now finally entering his opponent's natural expo. Shooting down everything that moves. Notice that on the back, as you can see on the picture and picture screen, we still have a lot of aggression ensuing. These mutalists are trying to flank and provide some damage on that uh, reinforcement line that Polt Prime has been streaming up. But there's so many uh, red dots on the minimap. Incoming the Banelings once more. No, they destroyed a lot of Marines, but there's still plenty of bio alive. Polt Prime just splitting them brilliantly. Nice micro there and making them survive. So there's still so many right on the front, knocking on the door of the natural expo from Lozira. Notice as well that Lozira committed a lot of min minerals to get his rich mineral field rolling, but it actually isn't working. So we have more and more Banelings coming out of those... Um, coming out of those uh, eggs, of those uh, larvae from the hatcheries, and so many zerglings, but Lozira just stated the obvious. He didn't have enough to defend against this push. Obviously, he was trying to stream as many units as possible, to hatch as many units as possible, but uh, he didn't have enough. As you can see, this rich mineral field wasn't even started, and on Polt Prime side, he also was preparing to grab his third base, but uh, I guess it wasn't necessary. He just pumped out as many marines as he could. Look at the amount of reactors he had here on his main base and just made a very strong push that crushed his opponent's defenses notice that he didn't finish finished off that armor because the engineering bay on the back got destroyed but they had one on the assault against the units from um, from low zero that had two on the assault but there wasn't enough of them basically so one one series tied very solid aggression here by polt prime showing that he also has something to say on this matchup and now we're gonna have to go for the ace match stay tuned guys here we go for game three